is joining Ted Lowe in the comedy box. Yes, thank you, David. You mentioned 940 there. Almost uh, 50,000 have uh, come to the Crucible over the past two weeks to witness firsthand the atmosphere of this championship. to be champion. Thirteen. Fourteen. Well, Steve, 21 points behind. And, of course, to clear up and win the title at this visit, he'd be doing it in style. towards the membership of that very exclusive club, a multiple holder of the world title. Ray Reardon's won it six times. Fred Davis, eight times. John Pullman, 11. And Joe Davis, 20. But it's the first time in the last decade if Steve wins that any player has won it three years consecutively. The points on the square. Well, just 45. slightly out of position. Hampered over the red. Forty-two. Can get through to the brown, but a difficult pot. So playing the snooker off the yellow, and you can't get any harder than that. 42, Steve Davis. The true strength there of a champion. 
playing safe at that moment. It must be said that this is a very sad first final for that 24-year-old young man there. That counts one, he's onto a color before returning to that last red. One. He snooped himself. Six. Seventeen points the lead. A possible 35 points still on the table. chance for John Barrett to save the match. Steve waits very coolly. John, I feel, is demoralized. The biggest defeat this championship has known. Five points in front. Eight. All the words have been used up in adoration Ten. of uh, Steve Davis. The only achievement missing in this championship by him is the highest break carrying 10,500 pounds, and that's in the hands of the young Scotsman with a fantastic break. Stephen Hendry's break was 141. John Parrott concedes. He's satisfied with 63,000. But the title of Embassy World Snooker Champion, 1989, and a hat trick goes to the fabulous Steve Davis. party into the arena of Mr. Peter Middleton, the sales and marketing director of Imperial Tobacco, accompanied by Mr. Peter Dyke, a chief of executive of the World Promotions, and the tournament director, Mr. Paul Hatherall. Thank you very much indeed. And ladies and gentlemen, the first presentation uh, goes to the runner-up who's had a tremendous season and he's uh, capped this by reaching the world final. A big hand please, a cheque for 63,000 pounds. John Barrett, ladies and gentlemen.